It was a violent and deadly weekend in Philadelphia. At least three people were killed and nearly a dozen injured. And that includes several police officers, one of them struck by a car while trying to disperse a large crowd in North Philly. Here's our Cheyenne Corinne. It, when it gets to this point, it's like, why am I not surprised? Like, you know, um, it's urban genocide at this point. Neighbors reacting to yet another violent weekend in Philly with multiple people killed and at least 10 injured, including police officers. Even what city, other cities are doing, like they enforcing curfew rules and stuff. They're putting kids in jail. They're taking them to the police station until their parents can pick them up or until they could be dropped off somewhere by police. You know, they're enforcing rules. And police also say overnight they had to break up a large group of people gathering here on Broad Street. Just take a look at these tire markings left from several cars doing spin outs. Now this also happening near Temple University and this Sunoco gas station. It was like it finally registered like wait a minute because it was kind of white noise for a bit. I'm, I'm just a block away but then I was like no that's crazy. Several officers also were injured while dispersing the crowd of nearly 500 people. One was hit by a car, causing a broken ankle. And what's really sad is the city's starting to become accustomed to this. They're starting to, this is the norm, and it shouldn't be the norm. We need to get a hold of the city. We need to go back and the basics, law and order, and, uh, and, and, and start doing it. Uh, the job, even with the undermanned people that we do have. One of the shootings happened in North Philly when a man on a dirt bike reportedly shot and injured a man and woman. Three people also were shot, including a woman with special needs in the Grays Ferries neighborhood. Our officers are followers and we need the leadership to step in, give the support to the police and, and let us do what we need to do to get this back under control because it seems like a recurring theme every, every week. A man in his 20s also was killed near Temple University. Jeremiah Pratt works in that area with kids and says being engaged in community programs can help them stay safe and out of trouble. Young people need um, more experience and stuff like what I'm doing right now, to be honest. Like young people should be learning how to develop their minds, develop activities. No arrests have been made in any of these shootings. Cheyenne Karen, Fox 29 News. And Mayor Jim Kenney releasing a statement about the Broad Street crowd saying in part, quote, I wish the police officers who were injured last night a speedy recovery. And I am, as always, very grateful to the officers who put themselves in harm's way every day to protect the public and keep the peace.